All right, well, this is another day here. We uh, guys went to lunch. I, uh, I typically, typically don't take, take lunch. Um, but uh, we've uh, cleaned up, you see, we don't have a whole lot of conduit sticking up out of the ground. The only one you should see, I think, is um, the one actually in my yard, if you can, I don't think you can see that from here. But uh, I'm across the street um, working on a, well, same cable, but different project. Um, they weren't ready. They didn't get all the stuff in for me over there. So um, we're hooking up these uh, uh, four apartment uh, buildings, and I'll show you kind of how I'm doing it, how I'm planning it out, I guess. Um, I got my flat drop adapter. It was a Comscope V case um, gel block uh, sealed. <clears throat> and uh, got a 96 count cable coming in. I'm only accessing the um, blue tube. I know this is an A tray. Um, but it's fine because I was just going to dedicate this tray only to, um, this, this building here. It's just going to be six, five splices on it. So it's not, not that bad. Um, got my FS, um, one by five splitter. It's a new, uh, splitter I'm not as familiar with, but I love it so far. Um, and I'll show you one thing I love about it is it comes exactly like that right out of the package. Um, so I cut, boom, boom cleave splice it's so it's super duper macro and notice how long the cables are the other one they're like five feet long or something it's it's pretty obnoxious but uh I'm, my plan here i've got a dedicated pond coming in on my uh blue blue tube brown fiber and uh i am going to be running out on these four flat drops i'm only using one uh, fiber out of there just kind of like always the 11 spare um, and then each one of these buildings is going to get a 16 port uh, splitter. Um, we've got six people now have signed up. Actually, one person came out and spoke to me, and uh, I think they're going to sign up too. So, um, yeah, but I went ahead and I picked brown here because uh, my house technically is closer. This street is technically closer, so I'm going to go green up the block, um, and then. Uh, so so far, my other two are metro styles. So these are my two, my first two G-Pon uh, fibers here. But um, probably gonna get uh, get this thing all wrapped up, and then we'll get uh, we'll get it we'll get it going. Uh, this isn't today is so damn windy, dude. It's not. Um, it's impossible. I, I, even a, a, if I had a tripod or something, um, it's. Right now it's actually been, it's pretty chill, but man, it was like 20 miles an hour, just consistent. And uh, it's not not fun. It's probably like 50, 50 degrees or so, which is fine, but the wind, man, it's it sucks. Um, but next uh, next I'll be working over in that box, probably not today, it's a Friday. I'm kind of feeling, uh, feeling, feeling like cutting out here after this, but um, yeah, this is just, uh, and I'll, Maybe before I'm done, I'll walk up and I'll show you how we're going to um, clean up some of these folks' yards. Um, we got some extra dirt. We're putting a vault in my front yard, and the vault's not here. The boys went and get it after lunch, and then we'll put a, we're going to put some grass seed down uh, and make sure that nobody, nobody wants to complain. And uh, they see that we put grass seed down, and, you know, it's just we, we gave an effort. Um, but cool. Not my, not my best work, I promise you that. But it's, dude, it's been like super duper windy. Like all my stuff's been falling off my table. So um, I just, uh, the wind kind of finally stopped. So, um, but you see, I got three of them here um, ready to rock. And then once that's done, this tray is pretty much getting sealed up and never used again. And that's gonna be a backbone tray um, where I am gonna be extending this 96 count um, through that. And it's going all the way down to, I don't know, you maybe can't, I got gloves on, I can't do a whole lot with my phone, but um, it's probably six, maybe 800 feet down, down the, down the road. There is another three building apartment complex, so we're going to probably just peel, peel a pawn off of that too.